Matthew with Kentucky Artifacts and Outdoor Adventures. Hey, I'm on a, a new creek. I am in uh, Jefferson County, Kentucky. It's a, it's a creek I've not been on much, uh, once or twice before, just to uh, scout it. It belongs to a friend of mine. And it is so thick with uh, flint and chert and just the right kind of materials. It's almost overwhelming to look at. I, I don't even know where to look. I look at every stone. I'm going to show you here, but I think I've got something on the ground here, and I think I found a, a flake knife uh, just a minute ago as well. I'll show you that. Let's flip the camera around and uh, take a look at what so we've got. This first piece that I found, man, I'm just not convinced of it. It uh, it looks to be uh, just a really rough tool. The, the problem with that, if I found this in one of my other creeks, man, I'd just be convinced of it. The problem with that is that this this creek is full of this kind of material. Like for example, a piece of flint. This is flint. It's just everywhere. Here, a piece of flint. It's frozen to the ground. It's so cold right now. But I'm pretty confident I've got a, a rough or a broken point right here. And uh, I've not flipped it yet. We're gonna take a look at it and see what it is together. So it could be just a piece of this material, man. It's just everywhere out here. Uh, it's got a bunch of frozen material on the back. So no, this is definitely a work piece. This is the first certain work piece I've found. Let's kind of come over here. We're going to give this a little wash in the frigid water. But uh, yeah, that's definitely worked. It's a rough, uh, rough blade, either broken off at the base here or it was just made that way. It's hard to tell with these sometimes. But uh, man, my, I'm just overwhelmed with what I'm looking at out here. There's so much material. If I find uh, any more artifacts, I'll be sure to get back uh, to It's actually the following day from the day that I found uh, a couple other points on this creek. I've come down here with a friend of mine and uh, I have got a blade tucked in the rocks here. I pulled it to look, uh, I wasn't sure what it was and I pulled it and uh, in classic form, I set it down. Uh, so, oh, there it is and I, I lost it again. But it's right here, tucked in. Let's see if you can see, it's right square in the middle of the screen. Come down on it there. You see it there, tucked in? Go ahead and pull that out, which I've already done. So this is a reenactment. But this is, a, this is just a really rough flake knife. It's considered a flake knife because it's made from a single large flake that was spalled off of a larger piece of material and then worked down along the perimeter. It's a really rough tool, sort of like your disposable utility knife, I suppose. We'll keep looking. Kentucky Artifacts and Outdoor Adventures. And uh, walking this brand new creek to me, full of flint. And uh, I've been walking for a little while and I got my first piece here, it's broken. But uh, you can see it right there, that red one. Let's take a look at it. It's got no base, but definitely a broken point. You can see it's nipped right off at the base there. Looks like it had some ears on it that are gone. I'll keep looking. Hey, it's Matthew with uh, Kentucky Artifacts and Outdoor Adventures out on a new creek to me today. Got a piece on the ground. I'm gonna pick it up here. On this incredible rock bar that is just thick with flint. I've been hiking some creeks lately that are just that way. And I've got a, looks like a flint blade or an abs here on the ground. You know, it looks like it's busted off at the base. Let's take a look at it. Oh yeah, it works square across the end there. Looks a bit like an adz. Worked all the way around. Uh, broken off here at the base, so no telling how long it was. I just got on this rock bar, so we'll see what we see. I'll keep looking. Hey, this is Matthew with Kentucky Artifacts and Outdoor Adventures on a rather chilly day here along the Ohio River. And uh, you know, the way my hunts have been going lately, I'm guessing this is going to be in the middle of a compilation, but uh, I do have something on the ground here. And uh, turn the camera around, we'll take a look at all it. All right, this piece uh, is just beyond my uh, rock scoop there right in the middle of the screen with a background of shale. It should be really obvious. It's very bright white color there. And I've not touched it yet, but I'm pretty 
certain of what I'm looking at here. And uh, I find a lot of pieces made out of this material. This is Jeffersonville shirt. And I find a lot of these type of blades in this area. So I'm quite certain that's what I've got here. Yeah, in fact, that is just what it is. You can see those edges are worked all the way around. Lots of tools here, very, very few points. So I'll keep looking. Thanks for watching. All right, back just a couple minutes later, and we've got another piece on the ground. I have um, not picked it up yet either, and I've not seen the whole thing yet, but you can see it laying right there. It's got some bark covering it. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, it's another nice blade. Well made. Maybe a little potential damage right there. It's hard to tell. Oh, there we go. It's in focus now. Man, that's a great one. All right, looks like I got another blade here. Not 100% sure yet, but it's just over there beyond that brick. Real light spot there. All right, let's get in there and see what we've got. I think, uh, oh, I feel pretty confident that's a blade. Right there. Oh yeah, it definitely is. That little nearly half crescent. Yes. See the other side? Yeah, it's worked all the way around. Nice. I'll keep looking. I might have a fourth blade here. There are, this is the most common tool on this site, is blades. I think, uh, I think it was a place where they processed meat. This has got tons of working on it. Uh, if it is, yeah, it's definitely a worked piece. But it's just a possibly a utilized flake or just a piece of debitage. It doesn't really have edge work indicative in it anything, but it does have like really long conchoidal fracture. So I'm guessing that's debitage. Looking along the Ohio, Lydia's down over there. Don't think you can see her, but I have a rough scraper here. There it is, really quite rough. Worked all the way around, but really roughly made. All right, I keep looking. Hey, this is Matthew, and I'm just tacking on a little, oh, not a cleanup video here, but but uh, something maybe a little educational. A friend of mine uh, was just mentioning that when he watches my videos, he doesn't know what I'm talking about. So I thought this might be a little bit of a help. Uh, I'm gonna explain to you just a couple of different uh, types of artifacts here. And uh, I'm going to start with something that's called a preform or a quarry blank. Uh, preforms or quarry blanks were pieces of material that had been mined and then um, broken down through, through napping or spalling into smaller pieces. So this one is just a really big rough uh, preform. It's got a lot of heavy creek stain on it. It's hard to tell what the material is exactly, but it's some type of chert, like a microcrystalline quartz. This one is a beautiful piece of Carter Cave chert, and this would be basically traveling material. A person would uh, take this with them. It'd be easy to travel with or trade, uh, and then to make other tools out of, and it could serve as a rough tool in the meantime. Um, these then are smaller uh, pieces. They've been knocked down a little bit more. This is just a really rough old chunky scraper, kind of a poorly made uh, utilitarian uh, tool uh, and then we got some more refined pieces here. These are called scrapers. These are particularly often called um, uh, a type of uh, cash blade or catch blade. Uh, they would be just uh, uh, used for processing meats and food and things of that nature, maybe uh, uh, fiber from plants. Uh, but they would often be stored, just buried together and these actually all come from one site together. This is another type of blade or a scraper. Uh, this is made also of Carter Cave Chert. And uh, this is a, 
uh, commonly referred to as an adena blade. It's associated with the adena culture. But these would be scrapers or blades, you know, that kind of used interchangeably. This is not a blade, that's just a rough scraper. These are called quarry blanks. Down here, we have a couple of different uh, blade types. This is um, one of the most commonly identifiable types of blades. This is called a Cobb's blade. Um, this is a beautiful, most certainly a blade, but doesn't really have a, a name to my knowledge. It's, it's just a rough general tool. This is just a beautiful scraper, also made out of, out of Carter Cave Chert. And uh, again, a Dina blade, it falls in that category. This is a really unusual tool. This is, the, the proper name for this is a partial biface hand axe. And uh, it's partial in that uh, part of the cortex of the original stone is still there. And then it's turned into a tool. Part of it is a, is a worked tool. And it's a biface, meaning it's worked on both sides, uh, both here and here, and a hand axe in that it would just be used for rough chopping. And then these are not properly called arrowheads, but they're actually properly called projectile points. You can call them arrowheads, I do. And, uh, but interestingly enough, the bulk of these weren't necessarily on an arrow, like we think of a bow and arrow, but on a tool called an atlatl, which is, uh, you know those uh, sticks that people use to throw a ball for their dog so you can throw it a little further? An atlatl is essentially uh, the same type of instrument but used for throwing a spear. You can throw it with a lot more force, a lot more distance. Uh, but these are all called projectile points or arrowheads. And really the telltale sign is they have notches for hafting. Uh, and hafting just means putting them on a shaft. So that's just a quick overview. Projectile points, oddball tool here, a, a biface, hand axe. Uh, knives and scrapers, uh, more scrapers and or blades along here. That's just a chunky old scraper. And then something called a quarry blank. I hope that's helpful. You have a great day.